guys, welcome to Kenganda. My name is Janita Mai. And on today's episode, I have a special guest. Please introduce yourself to our viewers. Hello, viewers. Mm -hmm. I'm Brenda Kakungula Sasira, mm -hmm. and I'm the farm expert, stroke agribusiness manager for Kenganda. I love that title. Okay. Thank you. Come through. Now, Brenda, you've taken us to so many farms. Literally, guys, we've visited over 100 farms all across the country and those have been your contacts and your people and you know places you know right yeah now in all these farms you know there are certain farms there's a certain week where you said okay this week let's concentrate on smart farming yes please. now for a viewer who doesn't know what smart farming is could you elaborate uh, smart farming incorporates very many things. Mm -hmm. uh, there is the urban farming part of it, mm -hmm. whereby these PC people they they have their planting bags, they are mm -hmm. doing some farming on their balconies and everything. But looking at it from a wider angle, smart farming is incorporating mm -hmm. information and communication technologies in farming. Okay. So you may be wondering how ICT is connected to, to farming. That. Yes. But it is. Oh, I, I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> uh, well, how is technology connected to that? Uh, using the drones, robotics, mm -hmm. is mm, mechan sorry, farm machinery. Yeah. Um, we have farming systems whereby you can be here in Kenganda office, but you're managing your farm in Arua. Mm. Yeah, we have farm cameras whereby yeah. you'll be able to see what your farm workers are Motion doing. Motion detectors. Motion detectors. Yeah. Cameras, alarms. Yeah. You can put an alarm on your farm store yeah. so that whenever someone opens it, it will give you a notification that someone is in the store. Yeah. And then you'll know why they are in the store. Oh, okay. Yes. I didn't think of it like that. When you talk about technology, I thought maybe there's like a castle. Well, they, they, they are apps and softwares, uh -huh. you know, for yes. farming. Mm -hmm. but like I thought of some other thing. I was just yeah. like, maybe yeah. robots are doing the farming. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like legit robots harvesting. Yeah. Yes. Is that possible? Yes. Have you seen a robot harvesting? I've seen most of these ha harvesters have been automated. There's, there's automation and then there's robots. Let's yes. Automation, yes, but okay. a whole robot. Yeah, some harvesters are mm -hmm. robots. Yeah. Now, anyway, would you consider me a smart farmer? Because I have like four plants at the balcony. So well, am I a smart farmer? You're an urban farmer. Oh, I'm an, uh, you see, <laughs> it's so good to differentiate between the two, you know, urban farming and a smart farmer. Yes, so please. I'm an urban farmer because you're doing urban farming. You're not doing it in the garden, but uh. you're doing it at, on your balcony. Mm. Do you think smart farming is the future? Do you think it's the, it's the new route or is it the next thing, the, the next big thing that's happening in the agriculture, in agriculture. industry? Yes. I do believe so. Really? Yes. But you know, you know, not every farmer has that money to inject. Not every farmer has that money to mm -hmm. inject, but in the near future, mm -hmm. I believe 80% of all the farmers mm -hmm. will have something to deal with smart farming. You know, you may not have a robot on your farm, yeah. but you may have an online record keeping system yeah. for your farm. Yeah. Instead of using the books and everything, oh, yes. you just go online, you log in, mm. and you just enter your Maybe produce just for today, that day. There were like 10 trays of eggs uh -huh. going out, just say 10, instead of, oh, now we have to draw lines. Uh -huh. You know, the old way. Out Even we are using WhatsApp. Yeah, farm owner, I'm your oh. farm manager, the farm. Then mm -hmm. I send you today, we had this produce, we had this. Mm. Yeah. What That's do you say to farming. people who say you should not be a phone farmer? Like, because the people who are against it, they say if you're going to be a farmer, you should be in it 100% yeah. and not just conduct business on the phone. But the way the world is now, mm -hmm. one of the whys, why smart farming may be the future. Yeah. People are not doing farming as their only business. Mm -hmm. People are doing farming as a side hustle. Okay. And even if it's your it's your main business, you may yeah. not be at the farm 24-7 because True. you have your other life to live. Mm -hmm. So fun farming, in as much as it is bad, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's inevitable. Yeah. Because you may not, because farming needs, you need to have an extra source of income that is going to feed mm. in your agricultural enterprise. Yeah. Especially before it starts giving you results. Mm -hmm. Before you, you start earning from it. Oh. So you may be required to be doing your other job as mm. your farm is picking up. Mm. So besides being we taking farming as another of your hustles, yeah. 
the reason why I think smart farming is the, the future. future of agriculture is because times are changing. True. Times are changing in that the population is increasing mm-hmm. and we may not have that vast land mm. pre- present for agriculture, for mm. doing agriculture. So we need to engage in two more smart agriculture practices that will enable enable us to produce more mm-hmm. in the little space that is remaining. Oh. Yeah, so you find things like hydroponics, aeroponics, yeah. because we are... Aquaponics? A- aquaponics, yes. <laughs> because we are running. I don't... I won't say land is getting a, finished, yeah. but we are becoming more and more. I, I, I think the better word to say is we are maximizing the land available. Uh-huh. Maximization of land instead yes. of, you know, letting yeah. it be free or... Yes. Yeah, it's maximization of land. Now, any, uh, give us more reasons, please. And secondly, all mm-hmm. these points are linked because mm-hmm. if the population is increasing, mm-hmm. the land is reducing. The mm-hmm. land available for agriculture is reducing. Mm-hmm. And if the population is increasing the demand for food is increasing. So we need to fully maximize the land, the little land we have mm-hmm. to produce more food for everyone. Yeah. Because food security is one of the most important aspects of life. Once mm-hmm. you have food security, one of the reasons why Uganda is oh hey, is not put in the list of the most most poor countries in the world is yeah. because we have food security. Oh yeah. You can be broke in Uganda, you but don't you have any eat. coin but you're eating all meals every mm. day. Mm. Yeah. So we need to produce more food for yeah. everyone. Yeah. And w- how are we going to do it? Is by incorporating smart, smart farming. farming. Oh, yes. Okay, I you know I never thought of smart farming <laughs> like that and whatnot. Now let's look at like everything else in life that that definitely are advantages and disadvantages of to course. smart farming. Mm. Now let's start with the nice things, of course. So tell, tell us the pros of smart farming. First and foremost is flexibility in agriculture. Perfect. Because I told you, you can be here in Kenganda office, you can even be here, mm. but someone is sending you a report of what is happening in your farm. Yeah. You get to see everything because, you know, you, you put up systems at the farm mm-hmm. that enable your farm workers to send you information or yeah. you put up cameras, you put up sensors that bring the information right to you. Yes. So there is flexibility. You can be in the UK, mm-hmm. but you're managing your farm back here in Africa. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I like that. I think flexibility is definitely the number yeah. one because you, like farming shouldn't keep you in one place. Mm-hmm. If you want to be able to move and do other things, of course. you should do it without being so worried about your farm. Yeah. What's the next one? Secondly, increase in production. Okay. Because if you're employing smart agriculture, Mm -hmm. you'll have, you'll mechanize your agriculture, you'll you'll have machines, you'll have equipment. Now, instead of using your hands to milk Mm -hmm. one cow, that would take about 30 minutes. Because it's hard, guys. It's hard. (laughs) It's hard and it needs a lot of manpower. Yeah. So you just get your milking machines. Mm -hmm. You'll even set them. You you may not even need anyone there. The cows already know that this time we are going for milking. Yeah. They reach there, you do the milking and you're done. Yeah. And then the third one is uniformity in production. Yes. If you really use a machine to a planter, you use a planter to plant your seeds. Yeah. That means that everything that the planter is doing will be uniform. Mm. The holes and the spacing and everything, meaning you'll get uniform you know uniform crops and uniform harvests. Yeah. If you use an harvester, you know some harvesters are set in a way that there is their sizes they pick. Mm. For example, if you're harvesting, let's say mangoes, yeah, you there is a particular size you need, mm. the harvester will only pick mangoes of that size. size. Meaning you'll not have to go through the the hassle of manually sorting mm. those crops mm-hmm. to those mangoes yeah. to get the size you want. Yeah. So there is uniformity in production oh. and it also saves time. Another thing is that it saves you on manpower. Yeah. You know, most most of the problems, all these farms we've been to. Yes. Everyone has complained about farm like, workers. Yeah. High labor turnover. Mm-hmm. Farm workers steal things. I'm yeah. sorry to say that, farm, you know. But if you have your farm automated, mm-hmm. if you have your farm, you, you know, you turned your farm into a smart farm. You can, 
for a job that would have taken five people to do, you'll just have one person, and that person is just controlling mm. whatever you, whatever system you have at the farm. Another advantage of smart farming yes. is risk mitigation. Okay, tell us. Because you'll have everything in your f- everything at your farm in a well run system you know that after this this goes there yeah. there's a process uh-huh, for everything there's a process for everything mm-hmm. so you can easily monitor and be like okay at these people my my farm worker fills in this milking information at exactly three but these days Four, there is no information. Sure. Five, Five, there is no, no information. Oh, okay. Six, there is no information. He yeah. fills it in at seven, yeah. meaning there is a problem. But these days, yes, you will be able to find out why before any harm is made. Oh, yes. But if someone is just entering the information on paper, mm-hmm. you know, you have those lines, eh, today, Tuesday, 12 December, we had these liters of milk. Yeah. You will not know whether they, milk, they milked at four, yeah. yet they are supposed to milk at two. So you will not know. But mm. if you you have a specific time that they're supposed to do something and they mm. don't do it, you'll prevent something bad from happening. Maybe they're not milking in time because they are busy gossiping. What? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're not Catching milking up. in time because they don't care. Oh, and yes. it's bad for the, for these animals mm. because they are these animals they are like a routine. They like a routine. If yeah. you change their routine, something is going to go amiss. Okay, I yeah. like that. I, li- I like that explanation. It also reminds you because yes. some of these, for example, farming systems, mm-hmm. they have reminders that, you know, this weekend, today you're supposed to spray. Mm. This cow is sick, so you're supposed to give it medicine at this yeah. time. So you prevent those risks yeah, that are associated with forgetting. You know what? I'm a fan of smart farming now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give us the cons. You know, like anything in life, there must be a bad side. Yeah. First of all, to not to you as the farmer, uh-huh. but to people out there, the youth, they'll lose out on their jobs. Because oh, instead yes. of you employing 10 youth to plant your field, mm-hmm. you'll just have one planter yeah. driven by one person. So employment opportunities are cut short. Mm-hmm. Secondly, you need technical know-how. Oh, yes. Yeah, you need technical know-how how you are going to run these systems, how you're mm-hmm. going to run everything, how you're going to use the equipment. Yeah. So you need that extra training. Yeah. If you don't know how to use the system, you'll still gain nothing from it. Yeah. Then also it needs most of these things need internet. Do oh really? Yeah, Data. they need internet. Imagine your Data. farm is like deep in the village and the connectivity isn't the best. Yeah, electricity. Oh yes, there's that. Yeah, and you know, with with our countries, mm. you know, we are good with electricity. <laughs> no, we are good with solar, electricity, but solar network. Power. Oh yeah, the network could be an issue, but the electricity. Yeah, yeah. Solar. There's also another option of solar. Ah, uh-huh, there's an option of solar. But, but yeah. that that is one one advantage oh. of smart farming yeah. is that you may not base on only electricity, but you can get systems that use solar. Yeah. Yeah, you can use solar. You can use some other thing. Mm-hmm. So is that is are, are all is that all? Yeah, for the that, coins. That's all for the coins. In my opinion, as a viewer and an amateur farmer to be, mm-hmm. not yet there. To me, I think the the other coin would be like you need you need uh, routine maintenance. Like you of need course. to keep. You can. I feel like you can't have a machine and then like a program on your mm. computer at the farm. Of course. Like, Maybe six months into it, it will need someone to come and there do something. Some, there was some training, f- dairy farming up. Yeah. That was really being used by most dairy farmers in Uganda. Yeah. It was called Itunda. Yeah. I don't know if it's bad to mention it. It's okay. It was really good. Yeah. It was, it was free. It mm-hmm. would work offline, but it had one problem it had to be updated over and the, over again yeah like you use it for one week the next week they are telling you update, update. once you update you lose you know, your previous data sometimes you lose it sometimes uh-huh. you ha- it has to take time before it can work again oh lord so it frustrated very many farmers yeah but the the people because i had a chance of speaking to one of the people mm. they were like they wanted to make it more user friendly. Oh, that's why they had constant updates. Uh-huh. Oh, so okay. I really hope 
they they develop more of those yeah, that would because be so it was nice. really nice oh okay uh, what's your last word on small farming my last farming? word yeah. would be that for farmers out there for start up farmer mm-hmm. don't start up your farm thinking okay i have to go into smart agriculture i need mm. the robots i need the drones the yeah. planters you can start with what you have yeah start with what you have mm mm-hmm you'll catch up yeah <laughs> because you may end up getting frustrated True. you use all your money mm-hmm. g- gathering all these things mm-hmm. just because you saw someone saying you know at my farm i use this drone to mm-hmm. water my to spray yeah and you may think oh god meaning to spray my crops or to start up a farm i need to have a drone no you don't need to have a drone but a drone will come in later once your farm picks up mm-hmm. perfect yeah. what's from the farm expert officer agriculture officer and everything else <laughs> all right brenda thank you so much tell us where they can find you uh you can find me at tim kenganda mm-hmm. or you can find me on instagram slay farmer 256 hey. <laughs> or you can find me on facebook yeah breeze agro safaris mm. yes okay please. perfect thank you so much i hope you can contact her there we'll also leave her information down below i hope you like this video like it and get, tell us what you think about it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel that is kenganda also follow us on all our social media pages kenganda nation instagram kenganda nation facebook kenganda nation twitter Also follow me on my personal page at Johnita Maya that is Instagram and my YouTube Johnita Maya we'll see you guys next time bye